Well, you know, when I started off in medical school and obviously all through uh, growing up, I, I was trained to believe that vaccines were, were the be all end all. It just, uh, you know, there was no question about it. Vaccines were, uh, were effective, uh, they were safe and everybody should get them. And, that's, and, and you never question it as a medical student, as a uh, resident and fellow. Well, in uh, 2004, I met the woman who would become my wife and Heather is a chiropractor. And she opened up my eyes to the natural world and said, one of the things that she said was about the dangers of vaccines. And I was taken aback by what she said, but I started to read, I started to learn, I started reading books and the literature and different studies and started to uh, uh, change my mind. Uh, regarding the the safety of vaccines and just exactly what are we vaccinating for? What the, are the the infections that we're worried about? We're worried about chicken pox and measles and mumps and rubella. You know, these are benign childhood conditions and other things, you know, diphtheria, pertussis, uh, tetanus. Uh, these, you know, in the case of diphtheria and tetanus, these are extremely rare. Death from those is extraordinarily rare, even as of 100 years ago. So my wife and I started uh, uh, doing lectures. We were asked by different people, different parents, hey, you guys, or two doctors get up there, do a PowerPoint presentation. So we did our research, went to the CDC and went to journals and went to uh, the uh, package inserts for the manufacturers on the vaccines and looking at adverse reactions and the contents of those and researching the contents of the vaccines. And we came up with an amazing PowerPoint presentation. Our last one was over uh, two and a half hours long. We had over a hundred people there uh, that actually paid uh, uh, attendance for the event. And it was really amazing to get that amount of people together.